Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have been shopping again in the shop called The Works. Um, it's like a craft book, jigsaw, um, bit of everything kind of store here in the UK. And yeah, this one that I saw, it was actually in a garden centre and it had a couple of diamond paintings that I'd not seen in the flesh before, as it were. I've seen them on the website and I thought, well, for £4 each, it's, it's worth a try. I do believe that these will actually be similar to the other ones that I got and they probably are partials. But I thought, well, for £4, it's worth it just to have a look. Um, and they're just quick little paintings to do. And I, you know how I like my tigers and I'm quite partial to a panda as well. Okay, right, so let's have a look at this one and see what we've got. Let me grab my scissors because that's got a, a sticky on it so I can't get into it. Let me just see. And, oops, just go there. Sorry, it's a little bit dark today. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the weather. We've had some stunning, beautiful days and then all of a sudden it's decided to be a bit uh, cold and uh, windy today so ooh, right so it's 30 by 30 oh and yeah it's a partial but there is quite a bit of uh, diamond painting to do on this that's quite uh, a large the whole of the tiger quite a large size to do and yeah he's magnificent he's lovely okay it's got nine different gems in it and it's a poured glue which means uh, it's got that little bit of wiggle room, which we all like. Uh, partial means that the background, uh, so not all of the canvas is diamond painted. So it just is that little bit there. Okay, let me give this a little bit of a switch here. I am getting quite a few partials now. I may um, do a little challenge to myself once I've got my card challenge finished. Um, to do a partials challenge and get all my partials done and out of the way because they're starting to you know get build up a little bit and I think well if I get those done then that's one less thing to store in places okay so the toolkits are a your standard sort of pink pen with your single placer you do get your little square of wax and then they give you uh, one of the well original style from when I started diamond painting round trays where you put your gems in and you shake them and some of them go the right way up and some don't they're not as good as the trays with the ridges in because the gems stay the right way up better in the ridges and they're easier to pick up but you can diamond paint from one of those trays I tend to use them as a trash tray if I yeah I'm doing anything I just tend to put trash into those little trays right so let's have a look at these colours so we've got nine different ones yeah, it starts from this end they always seem to go from right to left which uh, oh these are very oh yeah you can sort of just about see it's just there you can sort of see it. it's not brilliant um so yeah but i suppose when there's only nine it's not too bad uh, so we've got like a chestnut brown color and then like an orangey brown and a blue which again, it's, it always amazes me that you get these sort of colours in a picture of a tiger. But that will go into the shading and once it's there, it'll just all blend in. I've got your green, like a sage green and then another bluey, pearly green. And like a stony colour and then, oh, you're lovely. That'll be a B5 to 100 white. And then that'll be a 310 black. And then a little bit of peach. So I've got quite a few colours, quite a bit of shading. Um, looking reasonable drills but uh, okay but I think for £4 that's uh, a pretty nice painting I do like that one it'll be uh, interesting to see how the eyes come out because there's just the two black dots in the middle they are round drills as well so that's a little canvas number one and then canvas number two don't use your nails Liz that's how you break them let's get this set uh, opened here I'm doing a, a bit of gardening, so with the best will in the world, it ends up chipping nail varnish and breaking nails. Okay, and this is the pandas and it's mummy and baby. Oh, now that does, oh, okay, this will be interesting to see. So, um, there's not a lot of shading on this. And to me, that looks really cartoony. So we're going from this beautiful... <laughs> 
aquarelle type painting to this I don't know I mean we've got a lip no this is not going to come out brilliant I don't think because this is all um B5200 there's a little there's a number two there but these are all A's so there's no shading on that panda's nose whatsoever so that is going to look really really strange and again this is all they've not charted this probably <laughs> like one of the uh, 1980s video game type uh, animals i wonder if i'll be able to do anything with that maybe put a bit of blue sort of bluey gray across the bridge of the nose there to try and get this but that's quite scary looking <laughs> <laughs> to be fair i mean even the ears look that's that's not brilliant looking you've got this great picture in the background and then you've got this in the front that there's just no detail to it at all so okay yeah i think uh, yeah this is gonna yeah i mean even here look this is shaded behind the leaves and the back of the panda there and yet this is still all the same color um got a little bit of shade in here this uh, number two there so i can maybe use some of the number twos but here going from the ear 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 <laughs> where's that then i don't think this is even the same I mean, we've got those two there to there this is green see that should be the shading of the panda's neck and they've put green behind it so i wonder what colors we'll actually put on it and then it should be shaded there and then they should be shading around this eye to give you a uh, nose shading around here the bridge of the nose and the muzzle so yeah this is gonna look i mean that shouldn't even be the same color you know you've got a lot darker color there oh dear <laughs> Well, to be fair, as I say, I did only pay £4 um, and it is the first one I've had that I've looked at and thought, oh no. And I mean, there's 10 different colours. You know, you've got a tiger here, which again is like a, a black and a fawn, black, white and fawn. And they've put nine colours in that and managed to get to the picture. But for whatever reason... <laughs> Oh dear, uh, heck, uh, right, okay, so it's the same toolkit again, and let's have a look at these colours, so yeah, we've got a huge bag of white, because we're just practically doing the whole panda in white, so he's got a flat face, he, he's maybe pushed up against um, oh, a window, and he's looking in saying hello, or have you got any bamboo leaves? And he's just got squished. <laughs> got a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, uh, not quite a hot pink, but we'll shout hot pink. Uh, a lot of black, <laughs> to be honest, there's nearly as much black as there is white. Um, and actually, there's nowhere near as much black on there, but never mind. And then your greens for your leaves, and some more pinks for your colours, and a bit of beige see that that's number two that's the shading for around here so why couldn't they just put a little bit of shading on the nose that's bizarre and i mean it's quite big as well it's not like it's a really teeny tiny thing and you can't put any shading on it bizarre bizarre that is the strangest looking panda that i've seen in diamond painting although i've not really had many have i <laughs> so uh yeah i would definitely recommend the the tiger because i think he's uh, quite stunning and i think he will look lovely when he's done but i'm just not keen on the panda sorry uh definitely miss the works on the panda let me know what you think in the comments down below <laughs> okay well
well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me uh, if you have a thumbs up it's always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see these get done and see what i do do to the strange panda then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my next videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now in the flowers That is amazing. A lot of money, I should think. It looks like it's brass. Let's have a look round, Millie. No. Some nice stuff. Oh, hot. Don't go around me again. Oh, keep going this way. Look, ooh. Blingy stuff. Ah, nice. Look at those. Very blingy. Oh, I'll get some of those. I do a card and I've got a glittery number to put on it for birthdays. And some craft knives. Very good. Lots of glitters. And lots of mini pegs. And bows of bags. Papers, glue, oh, there's my little cat there. I've got one of them.